went back and watched the beginning one. And uh, so far I'm gonna skip, but yeah, I'm kind of interested. The way he talks, I find very soothing. It's very like, thank you. So this, I thought this was the life I was gonna have. Lots of cake breaks, lots of coffee breaks. <laughs> more coffee and more cake. It seems like Europeans have a lot more leisure than everybody else. Is it really more leisure time and better living in Europe? We're gonna live in Berlin and see if that's true. Somebody told me that finding a house in Berlin is the hardest thing that I would do here and I laughed but I'm not laughing now. So there's periods of time where the house hunting all comes in at once and so this weekend there was like nothing. We had only one showing and then suddenly there's a bunch of them during the week so we can't both go to both of them because we both have jobs <laughs> and our companies are being very very kind and understanding about trying to find an apartment because everybody's been through it but we're having to divide and conquer so i took the one at 11 today and then susie's got one tomorrow at 3 15 and then i've got one at five and we're sort of swapping out like this this whole mass of people that's who's also going to the showing with me i'm pretty sure in germany it's like almost like a job hunting where it's you would have to apply for viewing event like the viewing of apartment is an application process as well because he's not filling out an apartment Hmm. Form, so we went to a viewing application. application, and they give you this form, and then you got to fill it out with all your personal details. Basically, your job, your detail, personal details, your date of birth, how much you make, mm -hmm. all that stuff. It's a whole process. It's a whole process. I don't really understand it. And then you apply, and then you get rejected or get accepted, and then. From there, you kind of start your journey with the contract and blah, blah, blah. How you can tell it's your apartment that you're gonna view is there's a lot of people standing around waiting for the realtor. realtor. I think this is it. Mostly it's gonna be realtor agents showing and the public viewings are mostly awful. It's like 40 to 50 people coming in and go, you're in a choo-choo train line. <laughs> I've been to a few of them. It's just like, it's like, it's like a zoo. I would say it's like ego. It's like, it's, it's just like nuts. Under the train tracks, but that is where we're going. Apparently, it's a very famous and good currywurst place. Are you excited? Mm. No, it's not coming. No, they have to make the fries. Yep. Shall we? Yes. Go. This is viewing number. I don't know. The keys to actually German or say Berlin or viewing of the apartments, you have to be on time. Because if you're like a minute late to the showing, like it's sometimes it's over, it's over in a matter of minutes. That was insane. That was super insane. And look now, it's emptied out. It was over in six minutes. Six minutes. But you saw that was 70 people in six minutes. I mean. Anyway, Ooh. I just think even if we like it, there's so many people, we're not likely to get it. No? Yep. What do you think? Yes. But great try. location. We have to try. We do. I will not lie to you though. This process has been so incredibly stressful. <laughs> My entire face has erupted in 
painful big cystic pimples. <laughs> um, I've gained weight <laughs> this entire process. Um, I think I'm clenching my jaw every night. Like this is this has been a very frustrating and difficult experience. So my company offers this like perk. It's called oh my hair is bad today. Now that I'm in a new country, I have to find a regular doctor, I have to find a dermatologist, we have to find a dentist, and most pressingly, we have to find somebody to cut our hairs. I mean, I had haircuts outside of Korea, which is, we literally made a whole video out of it, and it was my best haircut I ever had in my life. So I had a lot of faith also, like, people will be able to work with any kind of hair. There's Susie in the chair. They put a conditioner on and put a warm towel. So far, so good. And then, so we get asked me how how you did a book and I'm like via phone, but like no, 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 like who do you ask for? I'm like, oh, I asked for like who's good with short hair, and then Leo's like, oh, don't you wanna like mm, ask for like uh, who's good with Asian hair? I'm like, well, they, I don't think it's like a category even to ask, and you know, it's gonna be fine, and I just went. My hair's big hair. What big hair. Big Dallas hair. Dallas hair. Oh. Susie's, Susie's not that happy with her haircut. No, it's like too. I mean, it could, it's just also styling, you know. But I like the. I just think this is a little too. I think it's a little too long in the back. Like, so poor Susie went to the super fancy salon and got this super fancy haircut and like wasn't quite sure what she wanted and like tried to have this conversation about here's what I want and then walked out with this haircut that was this like weird super like um bad I don't want to say bad but like it wasn't what I really wanted so basically I look like a Japanese boy Because I didn't like my haircut. Basically. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> anyway, I learned my lesson. Next, I will know what to ask. Hopefully. So I have bad hair. It's going to be bad hair for a while. I'm super not happy about it. And I have bad hair, now I have bad skin, so I just have bad face. So the house search continues. I got here fairly early. That's so one bedroom. The bedroom across from there is the bathroom, and over here is the kitchen. Good. So, what's your thoughts? Um. Okay, you. It's okay. Medium. Medium. Yeah, good price, good size. Layout's a little weird. The building is soulless. The neighborhood is soulless. <laughs> My overall feeling is that I realized that I wanted to feel like I was living in Europe, which probably sounds absurd to a European because you are living in Europe, whether you're in a nice apartment or not, like a nice new modern apartment complex or not, like you're still in Europe. But I don't know. I've just lived in these tiny hole in the walls in Seoul that are all new and all tiny and miserable and there's something about an older house, about an Alpbal, that just feels different. It feels like a different housing option, and so that's the kind of place I wanted to live. People might mistaken this is 7 p.m., but it's 7 a.m. This is winter, the sun doesn't come up until like, like 8. <laughs> I mean, I it's dark at like 4.30. I routinely think it's like 9 p.m. and it's only like 6. So when we have to do like this thing, put the bottles not in a recycling bin but in a grocery store and get your little 0 0.25 euros back, no. it seems like okay. But honestly, I have like, why would you not have this? <laughs> like in complexes or like, I don't know. It's fine, we're just not used to it. It's not that big a deal, we're just not used to it. Yeah, it's not used to it. Also, it's very inefficient. Like, look at this, people. It has a 
as this, you return it here. And you put it in and it scans it. You can do plastic or glass. So, you take this to the cash register. When you pay, they scan it and deduct it from your. Yeah, you can use it as cash, right? Pick up some more sparkling. Oh, true. We have to do it. We like one brand that's Gersteiner, which is German. When you're paying in the grocery store, it is super, super stressful because it's like they're super fast, they're impatient. The people behind you want you to really like pack it fast. They're really fast. You have to be really fast. And it's pretty stressful kind of experience. I do not like it. I mean, I thought Korean people were like fast, 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 fast. See, they're like already done. You've got to pay. Look at that person, impatient, and behind her, like amazing. We found a place. We signed a contract. I know. <sighs> we're gonna go celebrate with a victory beer. Let's go. Anyway, it's like a supposedly an old school, no food at all, just German drink. It was in uh, Susie had a little book of 500 little secrets of Berlin. This is one of them, so we're gonna try it out. Cheers! How does the victory beer taste? Good. It's on a place. I'm very excited. Are you very excited? I am. When people say Germans are very precise, it only comes to, I think, contracts. Our housing contract goes into extremely specific detail about some things that like, I didn't even realize were issues, but are clearly issues. So like there's a four page document about how to like ventilate the house. All rooms, if little used, should be aired regularly four times a day if possible. Four times. Feeding pigeons in the immediate vicinity of the property and on the land is not permitted. Let neighbors ventilate while on vacation. There's a section on animal husbandry. Do not place furniture and cupboards directly on the wall. The walls not, must not be painted with acrylic paint. So that's one part of the, my favorite part of this whole contract. It's like amazingly detailed very explicit. I'm pretty sure my Korean contract was a single page and it was like, here's way to pay your rent, here's when your contract's out. <laughs> it's like the first time we see our kitchen kitchen in the house. Since it's been remodeled, yeah. Yeah, since we signed the contract. This is for okay, okay, good, great. <laughs> Yay! Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. We just got the keys. So one set for me, one set for Susie, and then one set for guests. Awesome, there's three. <gasps> I'm super happy. I'm super happy. Just to give y'all a sense of scale here. <laughs> and it's also one it's still, it's like a really high ceiling, three meters. Yeah. And a half, three meter and a half. I absolutely love the apartment we found. First of all, I have four rooms. What am I gonna do with four rooms? I don't think I've ever had four rooms in my adult life, which is pretty exciting. So this is gonna be our living room. And then we're gonna put TV there, couch there. This is gonna be, we're gonna have to get some sort of table for us to eat at. And then this room, where Susie's measuring on the other side, this is gonna be our workshop. So this is where we're gonna make all the videos, I think. Then we got the two bedrooms back here bathroom and the kitchen. This is the day before the movers come. So the movers are coming tomorrow at noon-ish. This is the moving guys. They paid for a permit in front of the house and they're bringing all our stuff in. And I got an itemized list here of all of our stuff. Checking the list. We finally moved in. We live here now. Okay, let's pop up some champagne. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
sure. It's also a little bit nice to have more space. So my, my apartment now has more physical space. It is the largest apartment I've ever rented in my life. And it's also got double tall ceilings. So it feels even bigger than it actually is because we have these beautiful tall ceilings in every room. It's double ceiling, it's four rooms, spacious. And I would have like paid, I don't know, like triple or a quadruple much in Korea or other places like in LA or New York or Paris or London like that's even this is not even possible in the range of this rent money I know exactly where the champagne flutes are they're in this box right here labeled wine glasses but we can't because we don't have any dishwasher we don't know <laughs> yeah. yeah. where to put Clean it them. Should should we drink and unpack a little more I think we shall drink and unpack a little more. <laughs> so there's a problem. <laughs> Our kitchen is just a big empty room. Nothing in here. I find it absolutely bizarre that none of these apartments have kitchens pre-built into them. Now we have to do this kitchen and we have months to do it. I want to say like all the texture is similar. Is it gonna be look like a bachelor's? Yeah. This is gonna be freaking expensive whether we want it to be or not. I don't know. I don't know. This could be also a friendship test. Look at me. He's like super like stressed out already. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> just like 